And Model 3 Teardown uh, reveals that this car is actually pretty profitable. And this was done by a professional engineering consulting firm that, you, you, you know, when you're a little kid and you like taking stuff apart and never putting it together. Well, this guy does it for a living. And uh, there's some interesting finding uh, that, that, that he's talking about in his latest videos. But, you know, of course, what does a profit really mean? We're going to talk about that and also more Model 3 news uh, and uh, not such good news from Lexus, which is once again making me kind of sad because I used to love Lexus. Um, and of course, a comment of the day is going to be about the tweet that we're still all talking about uh, from a last weekend by Elon Musk. We're going to we're going to get going uh, on all of this coming up next. Welcome to those of you who are tuning in for the very first time. If you want to keep up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, you came to the right place. All you have to do is just click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so let's talk about uh, this uh, teardown thing. Uh, now, this, this company is uh, uh, Monroe and Associates. Uh, they are a consulting firm that, you know, tears stuff apart, figures out what it's made out of, uh, and consults other, you know, automakers and engineering uh, uh, firms and suppliers on, you know, uh, mainly about competition and so forth. Now, he's done this before, and he got, gave a, a Model 3 a really, really, really bad review about the quality of the car. He said it's one of the worst he's seen. Uh, I think he said something about a, it, it, it was a quality of a Kia from the 90s, which is, from what I understand, not good. You're going to assume that. Um, and he's still standing by that, but he uh, did really like the way it drives and the driving experience. Now, uh, this time around, he did a, a teardown and he basically kind of tried to determine how much each part costs and how much it costs altogether for a Model 3 to be uh, to you know to be basically uh, what what the original cost to Tesla is, and he concluded at the end of the video that it was the profit margin all on this car is over 30 percent. Now I'm gonna give it to him, and I'm gonna assume he knows what he's doing as far. And it looks like they're a very reputable firm um, that he can determine how much each uh, uh, part costs. Uh, from the supplier, how much the material costs and all this stuff. But at the same time, you know, when we're talking about profits, it's, it's just a, always, it, you, you, no one ever can agree what profit is. Like, okay, so all of this costs this much money. I think he was talking about $28,000 or so. But uh, what about research and development? Uh, what about how much each car, the, how much Tesla spends on each car when they have to service it for warranty, right? Is that included or not? Um, because it is cost over the lifetime uh, warranty repairs, right? What about uh, when they do a recall or replace parts? As we know, you know, Tesla's uh, had a lot of parts renewed and had a few recalls when they had to replace parts. Um, is it all calculated? I'm going to assume marketing and all of that other stuff and service centers are not calculated into that. But some people would argue that, hey, listen, it's not a profit if you still have to spend money on your service centers and, and showrooms and so forth. That should be included between all of your models and that is tough to determine. But nevertheless, as far as just the cost of the car, it looks like it's pretty uh, profitable just as we're talking about the raw materials. Um, and that's good news. And, you know, this guy does seem to be pretty independent on his opinion. He went back and forth depending on what it is. I still now that, that only makes his original video, you know, saying that this the car was a very poor quality, at least when he did it uh, back then. I know the quality is increasing. I mean, that's alarming, obviously, but, um, you know, uh, and and this is this is a whole different part of a conversation. I just actually did a video about that when I'm deciding whether or not I want to get another Tesla. Uh, you can you can check it out in my library on my channel. All right, before we move on to some other uh, Model 3 news, just want to remind you that this channel and this video is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There's a discount code in the description of this video. All right, uh, let's talk about something else. So uh, Model 3 all-wheel drive and the performance version of the car just got an official EPA rating. And it's pretty confusing because it's the same 310 miles as they had for just a, a regular long range uh, a car. Now, I, the reason I'm confused is because I assumed, and uh, this should be true for an all wheel drive electric car, it should go further than a single mo uh, uh, a motor 
uh, car that's exactly the same configuration simply because of the distribution between two smaller engines uh, engines motors uh motors um so if you can tell i got only four hours of sleep today uh so two between two smaller motors um the way they distribute the power you know and how they accelerate the car versus how they drive the car when the car is cruising it is much smarter they have more control and therefore you can get uh, more a better range out of the out of the battery pack that you have where the performance uh, obviously version would be using a, a, a more energy well because it's better performance higher performance and the range would be smaller but these two came you know basically at the same which is weird um, but also the same with the standard um, uh, single motor no performance version so I'm a little confused now as we know from a while back when the original one was getting rated and it got rated at the EPA uh, 310 miles uh, it looked like Tesla, uh, you know, uh, was was sort of campaigning for lowering that. They requested that this would be a lower it. And at that time, everybody said, okay, they're trying to, you know, make sure that it's not too much, uh, not not the range is not that much better of a Model S and the Model X because they were fighting that war of uh, making sure that the people don't think that this is the best version, a third generation of Tesla. Well, uh, this, way, this way, I'm assuming they did not do that with the, this time around with this CPA the, uh, rating. They did not request it. But nevertheless, it just weirds me out why. So if you guys have some sort of a insight on that, maybe you can enlighten me here. But it makes no sense to me. Nevertheless, 310 all across the uh, extended range battery pack for all versions. That's what we're at. And by the way, here's a bit of a other bit disturbing news. I guess I'm, I'm checking the Model 3 tra tracker of from Bloomberg and the production fell to 3,500, 3,600 or so per week. Now we all knew that they, they, it was gonna dip after the, uh, uh, it was gonna dip after the uh, end of the Q2 uh, and then they were gonna ramp it back up. I just didn't think it was gonna fall that much lower, but you know, we'll see what happens. Again, I personally think they're gonna be fine just in the next few weeks. Just a little surprised by that. All right, let's talk about Lexus. I know we don't talk about Lexus on the show because, well, they don't make any decent electric cars, um, plug-in hybrids or uh, all electric. Um, so, and the, you know, Toyota is also not very good at it. I mean, we got a Prius with a kind of a pathetic range um, and the look, yes, I, yes, and the look. Um, and uh, they, they got what, a Mirai, which is hydrogen fuel cell, it's 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 not good uh but uh at the uh what is it what was the festival uh goodwood festival of speed right just happened in europe there were a lot of good things happening but uh president of lexus uh yoshihiro uh yoshihiro sawa um this is the guy he's a president of lexus and he kind of he said that you know he said that the world is not ready for electric cars yet um he believes that environment we don't know that you know electric cars are really uh, there yet as far as being better for the environment even though one of the most conservative estimations that i've seen is that if you can compare the environmental uh, footprint of uh, electric car versus a gas car um, electric car starts winning after sixty thousand miles because you know it takes more dirty energy to produce the uh, the uh, the battery pack um and but we all know that most cars are driven over 100,000 miles so therefore over the lifetime of an electric car even now it is better for the environment now gas cars are uh, have almost no room to improve on as far as environment protection is concerned where electric cars are just starting out right uh, it depends on what fact what electricity the factory uses where they make cars uh, and and now with all of this uh, uh, maybe semi trucks and just delivery track trucks uh, the energy that the the, the electric some of them are becoming electric and hydrogen fuel cells so that will decrease the environmental fo footprint on those factories and therefore the making the car so that was kind of weird he was also saying how people um, are still you know the charging is still a problem which is but at the same time again if you have like if you have a second car in a family, for example, the first car being all electric with a decent range of 200 or more miles, that pretty much does the trick. Uh, and of course, you know, if you look at Tesla, then with supercharger network and everything, well, m largely that problem is taken care of. Though, again, there's still room to improve. So, but I'm kind of uh, very surprised that he is kind of, um, this is kind of an oil industry talking points almost coming from the Lexus, the company I used to love. I used to have a Lexus um, LS and that was an amazing car. It was like 10 years ago and that car was able to park itself 10 years ago. 
You know, I know we have all this autopilot features on Tesla and other cars. It's like, oh my God, it can park itself. It's amazing. But you know, Lexus had that technology 10 years ago. And it was really, I, I fell on the cutting edge of a lot of technologies. But in the last, you know, ever since then, I'd say in the last decade or so, it started the technology uh, started to subside. And now it looks like they, they're actually falling behind, which is kind of sad. I really like uh, Lexus. And by the way, if anything, their competition, right, BMW, Mercedes and so forth, they're investing billions of dollars. They they actually believe that this is happening and they're, uh, they're coming up with their own electrified fleets and they made a lot of commitments to it. So I don't know what he's thinking. I um, mean, hopefully, you know, when Volkswagen CEO said something similar um, about diesel, he ended up being gone uh, after a few months. So hopefully this guy will be too. Actually, I, I am definitely wishing on him getting fired because, you know, uh, as uh, maybe someone else uh, with a better uh, a futuristic vision comes along and Lexus cars will uh, become better for all of us as consumers and electric car uh, community. So that's 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 where I'm at. Let me know what, what you're thinking. Of course, there's a comment section. So go ahead. And by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna address one of the comments in the comment section right now, but before that, um, I got to catch up on more Patreons joining. You guys are joining in hers and really appreciate it. Definitely getting me closer to doing this full time, which I believe will definitely increase the uh, quality of, 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 of my show. I think it's pretty good now, but you know, I'll be able to do more on location reports and having more guests and so, so many more things. So uh, thank you to the following people. And I know I'm still behind a few, but let me just uh, say thank you to a few of you guys. Uh, one is Kenneth W. Ponder, became a Patreon. Uh, John uh, Keller, uh, Keller, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong. Not only he was donating already at the max, uh, what, what the highest tier is, which $5, he decided that wasn't enough, he doubled that. Thank you, John, uh, $10 a month. And I know a few of you are, have done the same in the past. So thank you so much. Really, really, this is this is what gets me uh, out of bed every morning. And um, I know I'm not making any money on it yet, but I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to it because I feel like you guys are supporting me more and more with every day. And I really appreciate that. I know you, you work hard for your money. Um, and I, of course, will spend it wisely. And there are quite a few expenses I have this month uh, anyway so thank you john and then uh miles b also became a patreon thank you miles uh, actually trying to send some of you guys actually personal messages when that interface allows me i'm going to try to do that to every you know for every single one of you moving forward and mike gossett also thank you for becoming uh, the, uh one of my patreons all right let's move on to the comment of the day and of course uh we're going to be talking about um this uh tweet that uh elon's you know uh, now deleted, but it was very unfortunate. I, I, you know, I've never seen so many Elon Musk fans actually being upset with him. A lot of times, you know, I, I bring something like this uh, up and a lot of like hardcore Elon Musk and Tesla fans jump down to my throat. How dare you talk about Elon Musk? He's under stress. You know, he's a good guy. And I agree, but you know, you I, I, I can't repeat this enough. This breaks my heart because I really, he is my hero. He is the guy who I think is just you know, create this everything that I love about this movement. I love the cars and everything. So watching him basically just go down like this is, is just really, and the reason I'm concerned is like, you know, you guys are saying, well, you know, this is not relevant to, uh, to the, to this whole, uh, uh, to this whole electric car movement. No, he is the leader. And if he continues this way and gets somehow way over the line and has to step down as the CEO of, of Tesla and therefore the CEO of our movement, that's going to be bad for all of us. And I really hope he just basically, well, this is what, this is where I'm getting at. And this is what the, the, um, the comment of the day is, uh, Lauren Salon, he basically says he needs to step away from Twitter. It only feeds the trolls. I agree. He, you know, I really don't like this whole Twitter way of him doing things and picking random people to answer their questions or, or maybe get some, I, I mean, I love the fact that he, he listens to feedback, but it's too random. You really need to have it at the better set of, of having a research, uh, a, a department where they figure out, well, what are the issues that most people experience and are most unhappy about it, rather just getting a random dude on Twitter and uh, replying to him or her, um, you know, there's just gotta be a better way. And of course, when he just does stuff like that, it damages his reputation, Tesla's reputation, and overall movement, that just that just hurts everybody. And he just needs to step away. Maybe, again, I, I can't stress it enough, he really does need to hire a PR department, or at least untie their hands I feel like they're all handcuffs to their desks if he does have a PR department and actually do their jobs. There are ways to handle it. And he also needs to stop worrying about this 
people here and there criticizing him because that just happens all the time. Part of the job, dude. Anyway, I agree. I really wish he would just delete his Twitter account and kind of start fresh and, and, and start communicating to us through maybe like, you know, press releases or TED Talks or how, however he wants to do it that are not in this just almost barbaric way that I think is just hurting uh, everybody at this point. So that's my rant about it once again. Uh, I, I mean, I just, yeah. Uh, once again, looking for comments, uh, uh, for your comments in the comment section. Other than that, uh, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Thank <laughs> you.